Hello there. Today on Outside Views STFC, I want to talk about the Armadas in Star Trek Fleet Command. And I mean what they call regular or normal Armadas in the game. And that means those are Klingon, Federation or Romulan Armadas. There are tons of different other kinds of Armadas, but that's a topic for different videos. Armadas are there in three different kinds, so to speak. There's an uncommon armada, that's the green one you're seeing right now. There is rare armadas, that's those grey ones. And there are epic armadas, that's those purple ones. And if you want to start an armada, you need armada directives. For different kinds of armadas, you need a different amount of directives and a different kind of directives. For UC armadas, you need UC directives. For rare, you need rare directives. And for epics, you need epic directives. You get them in different ways, but that's a topic for a different video as well. For UC armada, I can show you, you need, when you click on the armada, you need 100 UC directives. There you see I can start one because I still have 275 and you already can see the time of the Armada until it starts after you started is 15 minutes. So everybody from your alliance has 15 minutes to get there to take part in the Armada. Armadas only work, that's why I said alliance, within one alliance. So you can't do Armadas with people from other alliances. And before I'm going to get into more detail with the starting, I just want to show you on the rare armadas, you need 200. We just had an armada event, so I'm quite out of rare and epic armadas, but you can see on the bottom right that it needs 200 and it also takes 15 minutes. And the epic ones need 500. So rares and epic you will not do as often as you do the uncommon ones. And as you also read when I clicked on the Armada, it is that you can join with multiple ships, but only your strongest ship will take part in this Armada. And when the timer goes to zero, the most powerful ships from the Alliance that have joined and are in the circle, I show you later, will be part of the Armada. But there is an exception I will tell you about later too. But first of all, you start all this if you just click on the triangle and you get this screen. You can also scan the Armada. You see it's a, it has a strength of more than 10 million and you can also scan the Armada to get more details. Now I'm still locked in with my Botany Bay. That wouldn't be a good idea to attack this. And there you can see the strength and everything else of the Armada. But we don't need that much detail now. The strength is a good point here, by the way. Um, you don't need to match the full strength of the Armada, usually in the case of these normal or regular Armadas. In the case of the Uncommons, um, when you have upgraded your Armada control center a little bit, a little bit more than half of the strength of the Armada can already be enough. And uh, in case of rares and epics, you have to get closer to the amount because they are much stronger than the uncommon armadas. And I don't mean in the strength with 10 million. I mean, a 10 million UC is much weaker than a 10 million rare or a 10 million epic. And you just saw somebody else from my alliance just ended an armada and that's a good point to start one now i just start this one it's a small one from my point of view but it's showing a lot so press armada and then you have to press armada again that you pay these 100 directives and let's do that and now you see that the 15 minute countdown has started the circle has appeared and all the ships that are taking part in the Armada have to be in this circle. And the people that want to join the Armada have to click this Armada crest, that's the triangle with the wings, just click on it 
and then you see there's join. It also tells you how long you need to fly there. And then a little bit on the left and a little bit higher than the join, there's the Armada size. It says zero of six because there's no ship there yet. When people come there, the number will go up. And at this point, I can show you something else that makes the exception of what I was saying about that always the strongest ship take, take part. That is the standard rule, but you can change the standard rule. But for this, I have to hope that some more ships from my alliance will show up now. And I will skip a little bit forward to show you more a little bit later in the Armada, not in the video. So, but you will see that the countdown will skip forward a little bit. So we don't all have to wait together for the other ships to arrive. By the way, from my experience, Armadas are the biggest bone of contention that can bring trouble into an alliance. And that's why I always use calling in my alliance. You see, you have different kinds of armada sizes when you start with your armada control center it will be less than six places uh, or slots uh, that i have now but people will always argue about armadas and so we entered as you can see in the chat on the top the calling system that means you either write on my way or omw which means on my way if you want to take part in an armada if it's called and then the first people that called in the chat will be in the armada depending on the armada size of the starter in my case i can take five other peoples with me into an armada and then it's important to be able not to have the strongest ships in the armada but the ships of the callers and that you can do if you press the little blue button next to the Armada size of 2.6 now and just click it and there you see the first name of the one arriving and you see there's a star next to the name next to my name it's yellow because I'm the leader I can't be out of the Armada if I leave the Armada it will cancel if, if none of my ships is in the Armada I started it will cancel but the bad thing is the directives will be gone so don't do that always be in your armadas or you're wasting directives but in this case eddie for example is not locked in he's just sorted in by power at the moment but if i click the star next to eddie's name it turns yellow as well and in this case he is definitely in the armada even if uh, 20 million velour shows up or whatever eddie can't be kicked out of the armada because i starred him and that's what you need for the calling of armadas and from my personal point of view this is the most just everybody has the same chance to write on my way or omw when the armada started and there is no different treatment of different people here and so it's the most fair of my in my point of view but for this you need the stars so that you can star the in the callers into the armada no matter who appears because they they are always people that are ignoring what you do and try to to just barge into an armada or whatever you can prevent this then with the, with the starring of the callers and you can do it the way I've shown you here and you also see on the right side the eyes there you can have a look at the ships again um, that are in the Armada but we don't need that right now but another point you see there is the Armada strength versus the target strength the Armada strength is the combined strength of your ships that are already in the Armada that have joined and have arrived there and at the moment it's nine point almost nine million versus uh, 10 million um, this is complete overkill i can tell you that already but there you always can see what you have and what the armada target has in this case the romulan watch post 
and we would have been fine with something between five and a half and, and six million in this case. My Amada center is quite high and so I get some advantages. I could have done this one alone, but for showing you, um, it was a good one because in the system I also had rares and epics. As I said, we have an Amada event at the moment. It's hard to find all three kinds in one system at the moment. As you can see, more ships have arrived now. So we go into the Armada again, click on the Armada size again. And there we see we have three other ships than mine now. And they all called for the Armada. So I give them stars too, although double probably wouldn't need it. But nevertheless, they all called. There's still someone missing. And um, I give them stars so nobody else can just kick them out. Now you can see even more people have arrived, although one just s fell out again because he's getting rid of the chaser that he has. The Romulans must not be very fond of him. Um, about the chasers and how you get rid of them, I made a video yesterday. Um, if you want to know how to get rid of a chaser, just watch that video. But now we have more people, all start. I still have one free space. But um, they are all locked in, so they cannot be kicked out. And you can also see, by the way, if you click on the Armada, I forgot this earlier, what rewards you get. It says you get 15,560 Armada credits, so to speak, that you can exchange later in your alliance part but it will be split between the ones taking part. And now we have a problem here. He's still moving because there's a 10 second countdown. If he's moving now, yes, that's, he's showing exactly what I wanted to tell you. If you move in the 10 um, second countdown and he must have started at 11, so he was lucky probably, you are not in the Armada. If you move and you're not locked in, in the 10 second countdown, you are out. But you see, we successfully fought off this Armada. And then we can just have a look how much we got from the Armada. First of all, I won 7,265 Armada credits. And I can claim a mega chest. That can happen to, to everyone in the Armada, but only for the starter there's an agreed mega chest and let's just claim it and see what we get there i get another 3040 uncommon armada credits and two rare armada directives because those you need if you want to start a rare armada but you need 200 of those so you have to make 100 uncommons if, if that's your only source for rare armada directives so to speak so let's just collect this but you see it's a victory on the battle log, you also see um, if ships were damaged. I'm quite sure the Enterprise was damaged before she <laughs> they arrived there. And you can see um, the Romulan watch post and you can read the battle log as usual with all the officers, etc. But that's a point for another video talking about the battle logs. I just wanted to introduce the Armadas to you a little bit today, just the standards one. In future, there, of course, will be videos on formation armadas, on eclipse armadas, and there are a few more special armadas, um, like swarm armadas or um, Klingon burial ships, which are really only good for missions. But there are also armadas in territory. So we have a lot of armada videos for the future. But this was just the standard armada procedure I wanted to show you. And if you want to know more um, about advice on the game or some basics on the game, there are more videos on this channel now and there will be even more in the future. And the next one should be right here in the end screen. And I'll see you there. I'll be back.